Hi everyone, Scott Lowe here, V-Specialist with EMC, and I am uh, joining Simon and a few others to talk about the V-Block architecture. Behind me right here, we have a V-Block Type 0, the latest uh, type that's been introduced. You like that logo right there? It's pretty nice, isn't it? Let's take a look at the components about the V-Block, because I think there's some confusion about what a V-Block actually is and what makes up a V-Block. Simon, come over here and get a picture. Inside the V-Block, what we've done is we've taken each of the members of the VCE Coalition, Virtual Computing Environment, VMware, Cisco, and EMC, and put in best of breed products. So to build a V-Block, it's not a monolithic stack of pieces. What we've done here is taken best of breed networking and compute from Cisco, so Cisco switches and fabric interconnects for UCS. We've taken best of breed storage from EMC, best of breed compute down here with the Cisco B-Series blades. On top of that, we layer best of breed virtualization software with VMware vSphere. Uh, we add in stuff like PowerPath VE, Nexus 1000V, Ionix Unified Management, some security stuff that Mike Foley with RSA is going to step in and talk about in just a moment. So what we've got here is not a monolithic piece, but a modular best of breed approach. Cisco UCS blades, these are 10 gig Ethernet throughout the entire system. Fiber channel over Ethernet, fully supported. We've got great flexibility with uh, UCS service profiles, all kinds of very cool stuff you can do there. We've got our uh, EMC NS120 unified storage platform with an appropriate mix of SATA, fiber channel, and flash drives to help us guarantee SLAs and performance requirements. We have our UCS fabric interconnects. These are 10 gig and uh, FCOE enabled with uplinks out to the rest of the network. We've got an example upstream switch here, which is a Nexus 5000 for 10 gig connectivity out to the rest of the network. All this stuff ties together. Again, we've layered on top of this VMware vSphere 4, PowerPath VE, Nexus 1000V. Uh, for total vBlock management, we've got the unified infrastructure management platform, which allows us to define service levels and uh, services across the entire platform. And to help make this a complete solution for driving private cloud offerings, we've also baked in security offerings from EMC's RSA division. Mike, why don't you step in and talk to us about that? Thanks, Scott. So, what RSA can do for you in a vBlock situation is uh, collect all of the log information from all from the Cisco UCS, from the storage, from the blades, from vSphere itself, and layered on top of that, things like VMware View and all the applications that you might go uh, have. One of the proven solutions for vBlock is the VMware View solution that includes a whole bunch of RSA components. Things like RSA Secure ID for uh, logging in, uh, RSA Envision for collecting all that log information, being able to prove in an audit that your desktop security is actually better with virtualization than it is without. Great, thanks Mike. So as you've seen, the vBlock is designed to be a complete solution for helping you build a private cloud offering in your data center. It's not a modular closed solution, but a best of breed solution from members of the VC coalition. And we've even thought about security too, so we've tried to cover every possible base. If you have any questions, see Simon, he's the newest member of the vSpecialist team. Thanks.